The Rama Raja Solo from South of the River by Tom Mish. Let's give that a shot today. I transcribed it a while ago and have played it a little bit and I want to help you learn it today if that's something that you want to do. It's got a lot of good language to put in your soloing uh, and it's just a cool solo. It's fun to play. So the first video after the intro is going to be me playing it actually on my piano when I first transcribed it. And then for the tutorial, we'll move over to the synth and um, give it a shot. All right, tutorial time nation. Let's go, rise up in those comments. Let's do this. Tutorial time, tutorial time. It's tutorial time with all my friends. It's the only time of year. Oh, oh. Tutorial time is brought to you by one of the biggest companies in the, in the world. Wish me luck. <laughs> okay, so first a look at the chords. We've got D minor 9. This is in the key of D minor or F. So D minor 9 to G7 uh, sharp 5 to B flat major 7 to A13 sus to A7 flat nine, sharp five. So that's the loop. So it does that. So uh, let's get into the solo then. So it starts in D minor, starts pretty in, just some nice licks, so it's. That's that first part. I'll do it again slow. Nothing too crazy. Okay. So from there, we're going to go into um, a series of bebop arpeggios. Okay. That's, um, you may have noticed there's a pattern there. F major 7, B flat major 7, E flat major 7. So major 7 arpeggios up in fourths. Okay, so let's do that slow. One more time and then we'll look at that ending part. So after you do this last arpeggio, you're gonna catch the major seven with your pinky and then come down chromatic to C, then to B flat, then to A, and then to D. So, okay, got it. Let's move on. This is this next lick's like a harmonic minor type of thing. He's borrowing from that scale. So he's got getting it from, getting that lick from that scale. Uh, and the way he does it is just like this. One more time. Okay. Uh, next lick. So that's kind of your F five finger scale type of thing. Except for this is kind of diminished. He did that earlier too when he went whatever it was. Um, so, kind of giving it a diminished sound. Ok, 
Okay? And do that one more time, that whole part. Okay? With me so far? Let's go on to the next part. This is kind of when he starts taking it outside a little bit. So that's just A major. Um, you can think of it as like from the melodic minor, from D melodic minor. Um, which is still pretty outside because you're kind of playing this like this minor seven type of sound. It's cool, but it's out. Uh, but it's so well played, it just sounds sounds great. So that lick is just around A major. All right. Then uh, we're heading to um, heading to this G seven with a sharp five, and over that he plays this altered lick. And then we're into the next one right there. So that again. Yeah, so slowly it's just this. And then we'll get into the next sleep. So it's just. Let's go to the next leg. I really like that one. That is um, another kind of arpeggio idea, B major seven, B flat major seven arpeggio idea. Um, so we'll come from this, that's going to be our first move, and then we're going to catch the arpeggio like we did before. Oh, sorry. But we're going we're gonna to kind of round it off differently. So again, it's... So it's this slow motion, I'll do it one more time and we'll move on. Sorry. Okay, then we do the same lick that we rounded it with, like this one. We do that in E now. So he sidesteps it. Um, so uh, let's play that, because I'm thinking of it in F first. So, ba 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 ba, fifth scale degree, fourth scale degree, sixth scale degree, third, second. And then same thing in E fifth, fourth, sixth, third, second. So. So, okay, nice, and that's over. Uh, so it's kind of still kind of out because you got that the the major seven of the A, but again, cool, it's justified. Um, and so let's go um, to the next part. So that's going to be. Uh, some chromaticism here. This part's pretty fast. The fingering is important, um, but I'll tell you how I think about it. Okay, so start it off by enclosing this A, and then chromatic down to F. So, and then up a major third, and down a fourth. So. Okay, after that I see this shape, so, and then more diminished stuff, that part, so, and then I catch this with my pinky because it allows me to get down to this part and go do this part. Um, so I'm going to do that part again really slow. Okay, hopefully you got that. Let's move on, back it up if you need to. Uh, let's keep going. So this is kind of just, this next part's like bluesy pentatonic. Okay, so we've got, um, Pretty much a D minor pentatonic, except for it hits that major third, because your the the chord at that point is on this sus thirteen kind of thing. So he emphasizes that. Um, so let's go through that. Bum 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 bum. Okay. 
Uh, let's do that one more time. Let's go from, uh, let's go from... Okay, so after we're here, that is just this. Some chromaticism in the in D minor. One more time. Okay, so now we're gonna go whole tone because we're on this G7. So it, it's a dominant chord, so you can use this whole tone scale. So that's what he does. So it's this. One more time, slow. Okay. Let's keep going. Then it's some, some good chromaticism. One more time. Da 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 And then it's So let's go from let's go from here. Da 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 um, so then, um, the next lick is this. So I just see that he's kind of targeting G minor shape. You can see it a lot of different ways, but, um, ba da da ba ba da. So, um, so it'd be ba da ba 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 da. So the next part is, um, your A major seven arpeggio. Sorry, A flat. <clears throat> it goes ba da 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 da. So ba 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 da ba 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 da ba da 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 da. Okay, so after this, that's the next lick. That's another uh, B flat major seven arpeggio. But instead of going up to the seventh like we did with the A flat, we're gonna go up to the ninth, and then we're gonna go down. Like that. Okay? Now this is when it goes super out. This is the most out it's been the whole time. So what is that? Well, it's just G sharp. <laughs> it's just basically based in, in the key of G sharp. Why he went there? Not sure, but it sounds cool. <laughs> so. Uh, let's look at that real quick in slow motion. Okay. Uh, next lick is this. By the way, that G sharp, if I'm not mistaken, is over D minor. Then it's over. It's on this. So that's that's some out there stuff, but it's cool. Justified because he plays it so well, and it's a good idea, a uh, good musical idea. So um, let's go from this B major, B flat major seven arpeggio. Okay, and then we go out. And then we're still out, and that A brings us back in, so it's, and then, then we're doing uh, F slash D minor stuff. Do that one more time. So, okay, and then that part he does at the end. Those little, that is um, 
that's this. So when it's over, when it's over this sus, he's going. That's just a D shape with the fourth kind of pivoting. And then when it resolves, he goes to this A7 shape. Sorry if that's a little harsh. Um, so. And then when it goes back to the top of the progression, the D minor, he's doing the same thing he did on, on D major um, with his right hand, but now it's a C. So. And then it goes to the G7, and he goes. So that shape is like a G7 sharp five. And when it goes to the B flat major seven, he does like a G minor seven in his right hand. And then we're back to the. Uh, I don't have the technique to pull it off as well as he did, but but that's it. So we go. proceed to the top of the progression then when we're at the top it's this and then next chord next chord and then the same thing we entered on so that's it um, so if you have any questions uh, drop them below and uh, we'll see you next time tutorial time tutorial time